Assalamualaikum. So we continue with the transformer test. So uh, the transformer test uh, usually is uh, conducted uh, to obtain the values of the uh, parameters of the transformer, such as uh, the winding resistance, the leakage inductance, and uh, the <coughs> resistant core and also the magnetizing inductance. Okay, which is RC, XM, R1, X1, which is the primary side and R2 and X2, which is the secondary side. And <coughs> there are two tests. Okay, so the first is actually the no load test or uh, sometimes also called open circuit test. <coughs> the second one is the short circuit test. So actually in the open circuit test, the parameters that we will obtain is the magnetizing reactance, XM, and the core loss resistance, RC. While uh, when conducting a short circuit test, the parameters that we uh, uh, obtain is actually the leakage reactance, which is the uh, X, okay, and also the winding resistance, which is your R. <coughs> Okay, so this is the um, circuit configuration when you do the open circuit test. So usually the measurement is done at the primary side and the secondary side is left open or no load. Okay, so as you can see here, um, because it is open circuit in that the current I2 is zero. So when I2 is zero, meaning that I1 prime here is also zero. Why this zero? Because you need to look at the parameter at this one. Okay. So if I2 is zero, so I1 will I1 prime. Okay. Will automatically become zero. So <coughs> the simplified equivalent circuit is this one. Okay. So meaning that Okay, so actually the reading of the emitter, the voltage and the power uh, will be used uh, to obtain uh, RC and XM. So it is actually quite simple and straightforward. For example, to get the RC, uh, the value of RC is actually by using uh, equation of uh, the voltage reading over your <coughs> power reading. Okay. And to get the XM is actually uh, by using the equation. So this is the power reading and is equal to the voltage reading multiplied with the current reading and cos theta. Okay, but and then you mean that the cos, the, the theta This actually can be obtained by inverse cos of the uh, P over V and I. Okay, and then from that you can obtain your Q, which is Q is V I uh, sine theta. And after you have got Q, you can get your XM, which is your XM is V square over Q. <coughs> so it is actually a straightforward. So this is actually the equations. And for the second test, which is the short circuit test, so normally the secondary uh, is shorted and the reading is obtained at the primary side. Um, since it is short circuit, meaning that there is no voltage at the secondary terminal, but a very large current will flow at the secondary. Okay, and actually to avoid this large current, what we do is actually we do this test at a very low voltage. For example, 5% from the rated voltage. So when it is 5%, the current that we flow at the secondary is considered as a full load current. Okay, so when it is happened, so the core losses, which is uh, uh, represented by the RC, is actually can be assumed uh, negligible, okay, and 
meaning that the emitter reading, the voltage reading, and the power reading will actually uh, uh, represent the what we call the <coughs> the internal resistance of the winding and also the uh, in that uh, leakage inductance. So this is you short circuited it, and as you can see here. Uh, to actually to simplify our calculation, we can transfer all the secondary parameters into the primary parameters like this. Okay. And this, as you can see, R1 and also uh, the secondary parameters can be uh, uh, can be actually combined to be R equivalent uh, because it is referring to the primary. So R equivalent 1 while uh, X1 and uh, a square x2 can be combined become x equivalent 1. Okay, so r equivalent 1 can be obtained by simply have the reading of the power of the power short circuit. So you know that uh, p short circuit is i square r, which is this one is r equivalent. So r equivalent is actually can be obtained by power reading of the short circuit over i square okay and to obtain the x equivalent so what you need to do is by having calculate the x z equivalence so z equivalence is actually by simply having vi over i1 so when you have this value z equivalent so uh, we know that the relationship between r and x is this one right So you, after you obtain Z equivalent, okay, the magnitude only, so you can actually got the X equivalent by uh, rewrite this equation. So you can get the X equivalent. So there's a still, okay, straightforward also. So this is uh, the equations that involve, okay. So as you can see, the R equivalent can be obtained like from this equation and x equivalent can be obtained from this equation. Okay, oh sorry, this one is actually, okay, see. Okay, so, so this is the equivalent circuit for a real transformer that results from the open and short circuit test. So from here, we can obtain uh, from the uh, open circuit test and this one we obtain from the short circuit test. So example four, obtain the equivalent circuit of uh, 200 over 400 volt, 50 Hertz one phase or single phase transformer from the following test data. So the open circuit test, the reading of the power, the reading of the emitter, and the reading, sorry, this is the reading of the voltage, and uh, current and also power. This is taken from the LV side, which is the LV side right now is the primary. Okay, and the short circuit test, okay, <coughs> uh, we short circuit the primary side and the reading is obtained from the secondary side, which is the 400 volt here. So this is actually taken from the secondary side. Okay, so we move to the uh, word file. Sorry, I think this one. Okay. So all are actually taken from uh, the side. So uh, Okay, so this is all the reading, voltage, current, and the power. So this one is actually, we open up this one. So the reading is uh, 70 watts. The current is 0 0.7 ampere, and the voltage is 200 volts. Okay, so this is uh, 200 over 400 turn. Okay, so um, the RC, can be obtained by from the equation uh, which is uh, p power is equal to um, uh, v 
okay over r okay so your r this one is rc actually so rc is equal to 200 volts square over 71 so your rc is 571.4 ohm to get the value of xm what you need to do is uh, to find the cos the theta so the theta is actually the inverse cos of uh, p over vi which is uh, 70 watt over 200 multiply with the current 0 0.7 so this one i think you should get um 70 over 200 over 0 0.4 so this one um, and then cos this one is actually 28.96 degrees so q is obtained vi sine theta which is same 200 multiplied with 0 0.7 multiplied with sine 28.96 which will give you uh, 0 0.7 200 multiplied with sine which is 6 7.8 var and from here you can use uh, xm you can get xm which is v square over q 200 over sorry uh, sorry this one okay good 200 square over 67.8 uh, so 200 okay so you should get around oh sorry i think i miscalculated it uh should be this one uh it's not 28.96 okay this one is actually uh 60 degrees i think 70 over 200 over 0 0.7 yes so 60 degrees so um, this one sine 60 degrees okay so this one is not so 200 multiply with 0 0.7 multiply with sine 60 degrees so you should get around 1 to 1.2 bar so this one should be one to one bar so over so you should get around 330 okay so that is uh, for open circuit test <coughs> and for the short circuit test okay so uh, it is conducted uh, it's done short circuit at the primary side okay sorry and the reading is obtained from the secondary okay the value is 15 volt 10 ampere 15 volt 10 ampere and 85 watts okay so from here you can obtain your uh, r equivalent so r equivalent 2 because it's actually the reading is obtained from the secondary so r equivalent 2 is equal to um uh we know that uh, p is equal to i square R equivalent to so uh, R equivalent to is equal to P over I2 okay I, I square so P is 85 watts over your I square is 10 ampere so this one 100 so you should get 0 0.585 ohm okay but this is R equivalent to okay so to get the R equivalent one you need to transfer into the primary so R equivalent 1 is equal to A square 
R equivalent to, which is uh, your A is, um, I think is five, I think. Okay, sorry, 0 0.5, okay. So 0 0.5 square multiply with 0 0.85. So you should get your R equivalent to is uh, 0 0.2125 ohm. And to get your X equivalent to, okay, X equivalent to, you should get uh, this one, uh, Z equivalent minus R equivalent to. Okay, so your Z equivalent to can be obtained from V over I, the magnitude, okay? So V over I is 15 over 10, which is uh, 1.5 ohm. Okay, so from your calculator, your X equivalent is uh, 1.5 square minus uh, 0 0.85 square. You should get um, 1.235. Okay. And to get your X equivalent 1, you need to transfer in the, the secondary to the primary. So A square X equivalent to, so this one uh, is actually uh, 0 0.5 square multiply 1.235 uh, multiply with, okay. So you should get uh, your X equivalent that refer to primary is 0 0.30. Okay, so we stop here and when we go for the next video.